is thermal stress and really thermal expansion, right? A temperature increase can expand a material, right? We all knew that. And so sometimes if it is fixed between two walls, it wants to expand, but the walls keep it from expanding. So sometimes that temperature increase increases the stress. Right, so, so, but, but the main thing, I like to think about it as a temperature increase wants to expand a material. A temperature decrease wants to contract a, a material. The strain... The strain due to temperature is proportional, is proportional to the delta T. The delta L over L is proportional to the delta T. And so we'll say the strain due to a temperature change is delta T times some coefficient. So this is the coefficient of thermal expansion. Coefficient of thermal expansion. Many times this coefficient is a constant. It's just, you know, point zero, 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 four, so, you know. You could get the thermal coefficient of a certain material. Sometimes it, it varies, it changes due to temperature. So if this is delta L over L, let's rewrite this a different way. The change in length due to a temperature change would be alpha delta T L, right? Alpha delta T L probably on that formula sheet. Did the formula sheets go around? Uh, there should be a lot of extra. Where are the extra formula sheets? Great. Okay. Yeah, so if anybody didn't get the formula sheet, uh, all right, uh, be sure to get it maybe before you leave. And so I think it's on there. So it's nothing that you need to memorize, but you, you could memorize. It's not too bad, right? Alpha delta T L is the temper is the change in length due to temperature. Uh, the coefficient, let's, let's think about this, has units of, it's kind of an interesting, it's one per degrees Fahrenheit or per degrees Celsius. In order for this, in order for our units to work out. Typically, these are very, very small. For uh, A36 steel, this alpha is 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 6 per degrees Fahrenheit. For concrete, uh, 8.0 times 10 to the negative 6 per degrees Fahrenheit. I don't think I'll make you do this, but sometimes the uh, either the temperature, you might have to do this in homework, uh, I'm not sure. If the temperature change is different throughout a long beam, throughout the length of the beam, or if the coefficient of thermal expansion is different for the length of the beam, then instead of doing alpha delta T L, we might do alpha, uh, let's say it's a function of X, or, or delta T, maybe it's a function of X. We might need to integrate as X goes from zero to L. Does that, is that a little bit similar to what we have to do with FL over EA if some of those are not constant? Hopefully it's constant. You just do alpha delta T L, and that's your delta L. So now, those same problems we've been doing, when there's a temperature change, 
then we still have FL over EA, but we also have alpha delta T L. Let's see how that might show up. Let's see how that might show up. If the specimen is free to move, so if we have some beam that is fixed to a wall and it's free to move, if it's statically determinate, let's say this is its length right here, its delta L would be equal to alpha delta T L, and there actually is no FL over EA because what is the internal force in a cantilever beam that has no forces out here? If we cut that open, there would be no normal force. Um, and so anyway, that uh, alpha delta T might be the delta L. But for a statically indeterminate, for a statically indeterminate beam, so let's say, Let's say it's fixed between two walls. And maybe we've got FA right here. Maybe we've got FB right here. So we still have, and, and let's, let's actually break it up into, and I'm gonna put like, a, I don't know, 10 kilonewton, 10 kilonewton right there. All right, we still have statics. FA plus 20 minus FB equals zero. But that equation is not enough. I need compatibility. Compatibility. And so let's call this A, B, C. So what would our compatibility equation? The delta L of section AC plus the delta L of section CB. I think it adds up to zero, right, if they're fixed between two. So we just need to be careful. Now, if there's a temperature change, that delta L has two parts, or it has two things that are adding up to the delta L. Still FL over EA, and now alpha delta T L. All right, FL over EA, alpha delta T L. So it's, it's, it's not completely new. Now we're just having the, the alpha delta T L and the F L over E A. If we did that glass board problem, if we did that glass board problem with a temperature change, so maybe we had that and we, we originally they were at 60 inches and 60.04 and we put that weight down and we, the temperature rose, it, it might look something like this. The FL of the short equals the FL of the long plus 0 0.04. We would just have two things for each of these, the FL over EA and the alpha delta TL. FL, it's FL over EA, it's alpha delta TL. See, Chen? Are you multiplying these two No, I'm adding them. Yes, sorry. We're adding them. Yes. This plus this, so, so it, it might be a, a long equation, right? That plus that plus that plus that adds up to zero, okay? So, so just adding a little wrinkle into these problems. Now, we've gotta be very careful. We've gotta be very careful uh, for FL over EA, positive is tension, Right, positive is tension for uh, alpha delta T L. Positive is um, an increase in temperature. So just be careful because sometimes you might have, like, m maybe the temperature is rising right here. But be careful, this one was maybe in compression. So you might have like a negative here, a positive here, a negative here, a positive here. Uh, just be careful. So we're not read, learning everything. We're not scrapping what we did. We're adding a little wrinkle. Alpha delta T L. 
into our equations. All right. Well, good. Y'all have.